Hey, good afternoon. Casey Ashmore here with my good friend Stacy Massar. We're in the carpool lane, and if you saw our video with uh, grumping or conversating <laughs> in the carpool lane with Stacy, this is a follow up. I'm going to be putting it on my feed. It's unfortunately not live. We've been discussing the use and abuse of joint managing conservatorship rights as set out under the Texas Family Code, which are incorporated in all original um, divorce decrees, final orders of divorce, and suits affecting the parent-child relationship. And Stacy, you had um, some thoughts on that, which I would like to uh, turn it over to you and tell me what you think about how those are used and abused. Okay, so as the um, parent or spouse of a, a child we are divorced, um, I feel that the joint managing, and I don't have the right... JMC. JMC, we'll go with that, um, is used and abused because whoever disagrees with what is being said or proposed typically has the power. So if one person disagrees, if one parent disagrees with another parent's decisions at school or medically or... I'm sure there's several other areas. Psych psychological health care, mental health care, dental health care. Any of those I things. mean, any of those things can be uh, spun out of control mm -hmm. and used instead of, a, instead of for the benefit of the child and for, co the, you know, what they're intended for is collaboration between the parents. And what I'm gathering from you and many other clients is that it's really... Whoever, you know, the squeaky wheel gets the grease. Absolutely. And when it comes to what the school will do or the dentist will do, I mean, come on, the dentist, <laughs> right? Bigger uh, things to fight about, I mean, right? if the kid needs braces, like, let's not have, you know, six opinions on whether the kid needs braces. I mean, for the, the idea behind the joint, the JMC rights is that the parents collaborate, that they set aside their ego, set aside all of the... the heartache and heart heartburn that led to the dissolution of the marriage and they put all that aside for the benefit of the children to have a collaborative relationship and and step back and make the best decisions for their children instead of using the JMC rights to be an impediment to exercise dominion and control over the other ex spouse former spouse parent and essentially look if the kids are if it's if it's to the child's benefit and if it is within the, the the network provider of the health insurance there's really a there's no need for the court to be having a hearing and I'll promise you the judge does not want to be your mom or dad no. they don't want to have a hearing as to whether or not your child should be wearing braces and it just again these things are designed to be positive tools for the collaborative enforcement of both parents judgment and decisions in raising the child to the best of their abilities and that's what they're designed for and that's what they should be used for it that is correct my only issue with that is when two people can't get along in marriage and they separate and then the divorce decree is asking them to collaborate that's where I feel like it's very difficult to accomplish because you already have proven that you can't get along but now you have to get along. So I always feel like if you just put the kids first and you figure out what is truly right for the child without the other parent's input, maybe we could be making you know better decisions for our kids. And by we, I don't mean me, I mean all, you know. Right, it, it's the, it's societal decisions. So, yeah. you know, it's, it's something to think about. Maybe it's something that needs to be addressed in our Texas uh, legislative session as to how better uh, to accomplish collaborative efforts in the exercise of JMC rights under Texas family law. Uh, Larry Hance, a good friend of mine who practices law here in the DFW area in Rockwall, Collin County, Dallas County, uh, is, is a big believer in collaborative law, the collaborative approach to family law. So hopefully that will continue to be how things go under uh, t state law. Anyway, I hope this has been helpful. Have a wonderful afternoon.